there are three ways you can thicken a slab in Resifloor ES. The very first way we'll talk about is a drop panel. And in order to do a drop panel, we're going to show here the design strips. I'm going to turn on the design strips with a column strip showing. So this interior strip here is going to be our column strip and marked in blue. And what we can do is we can make that column strip a thickened region um, by just going to support line here and under instead of draw support line we go over to modify the properties and here's the use checkbox we'll turn that on and there's a drop panel thickness so this is a thickness uh, beyond the slab so uh, additional to the slab so currently the slab thickness is 12 inches and I can say maybe another 8 inches which would go all the way to 20 inches I can say apply and then I click on that uh, support line right there it turns black on the exterior to indicate that it's been thickened I'm going to solve the model to see here what's going on with that thickened area. What the idea is that the column strip is going to be where the higher forces are, and so by thickening that area, we'll have less reinforcement in that, uh, required in that area. So clicking on the detail report, we can see here that the slab, the overall slab thickness is 12 inches, and this is the total slab. To get to the reinforcement here, we're going to go down to the column strip area. We go to the column strip and we see here, this is where our reinforcement gets designed in the column strip and the mid strip, so in the regions inside of this design strip. And here we see that the, the slab is considered to be 20 inches. If I go to the mid strip right, it's back to the 12. Mid strip left, it's back to the original 12 inches. So we're really just considering this one area to be thickened. Uh, that's thickening the plates underneath that, so the FEA mesh is actually getting thickened beyond for this area that we've thickened with the drop panel. So a drop panel is one method to thicken a slab. The other method would be a column, uh, and you can adjust the columns, and that is going to be your shear cap. So if we go to our, instead of the draw columns, we go to modify properties, we can thicken right around that column, and this is going to be helping us with our punching shear calculations. So if I say add or modify, I can add a punching shear to the punching shear calcs I can help by adding some thickness to it so maybe another 8 and we can say something like maybe 48 inches and what I can do here is just by saying apply I click on that column and I'll see that it will drop that um, and add a, a, a dotted black line to indicate that I have a shear cap in place uh, the, the other piece I can do here is not just a shear cap uh, but I can draw a thickened region anywhere throughout the structure. So um, I click on here, Create Thickened Region, and it will go to the Thickness tab, and this will allow me to create a polygon or rectangular shape. So I'll just jump to a rectangular. Now this is the overall thickness, so we're not talking about the additional thickness. This is meant to sort of cover a large portion of your slab, so maybe you have a whole building um, side of your building that's going to be one thickness and the other side's going to be a different thickness. So that would be why I would use a thickness region here. Um, so maybe this is going to be, let's say, actually let's say 16 inches, and I'm using the rectangular tab and I can just cover this entire area and that's going to be a different thickness. So the three different manner is to, man, ways to do this is going to be doing a shear cap, a drop panel, or a thickened region. Um, different types of ways to thicken your slab.